into Africa with you. Tessa. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. How are you? How are you? We can't involve ourselves in their lives, Tessa. There are millions of people. They all need help. You know me well enough to know that I'm not going to take no for an answer. It's about a, a, a British diplomat working in Kenya, present day, whose wife is suddenly killed. And uh, it's about his journey to, re to, to learn why she was killed and in the course what she was doing in order to have been killed. So it's a, sort of, it's a kind of detective story. Oh my goodness, what made them agree to have me in star in the film. I, I was very passionate about it and uh, Fernando, I'd seen City of God. It's an extraordinary piece of work. He's a master filmmaker and storyteller. Um, Ray Fiennes in the lead, an incredible female character that really doesn't come along very often roles like that. Great story. Uh, it's got love, great love story, um, thriller. It's got big social, political issues that are very important. It's sort of got everything. It's got heart and brains and soul. I'm like Tessa only in that I'm very passionate, but I don't save lives. You know, she's she's an activist and she's willing to give up her own life to help other people. I'm just a, I'm an entertainer, I'm a storyteller, so maybe I've entertained a couple of people, but I haven't really, you know, I've never done anything. Um, I've never saved anybody's life, so I am like her in a way, but I'm, my job is completely different to her. Well, that sort of poverty is always for us coming here, you know, it's a place like London, it's overwhelming. Um, it's also, yeah. But I mean, people are leading, leading their lives, you know, people have families and some, it's tough, it's, it, it's, what's, what can be enabling, if that's a good word, what can really make you feel not so overwhelmed in a negative sense is the dignity of the people and their courage and their patience. So while you can be appalled and sometimes ashamed by uh, how, how little people have, You're, the people themselves are huge in spirit and that can be in a way uplifting. It's sort of within the genre of the political thriller but it's, it breaks out of it as well because I think because it's a love story as well, but the love story and the thriller are completely intertwined because as Rafe discovers what I was up to and why I was murdered, he also falls more deeply in love with me and gets to know me more fully. So it's sort of a retrospective love story about how you can fall in love with somebody more after they've gone, which is very sad, <laughs> I think. Our producer Simon Channing Williams so I set up a trust to help this community in the northern part of Kenya where we shot the end, end of the film. Um, so, so far this trust has, it's, it's in its early stages and uh, we've, it has provided, I think, a secondary school, a new roads, some running water, and I think that's just the beginning. And I know that he particularly felt a strong attachment to this place and he negotiated and earned the trust of the, the tribes people, the elders, um, so we could shoot there because they'd never received anything like this. They never worked with a big film like this. So it was a big, probably a big shock to the community. I think it's a really mixed audience because it's a political thriller. So it's all the people who love thrillers out there will like it. But it it's very different and it's, it's got this very moving, unusual love story. So people who like romance. Um, and love stories will really like it. And also people who like films that make you think, because uh, it's definitely raises some very hot political and social topics. Uh, so yeah, different, like different groups of people. Some very nasty things live under rocks, especially in foreign gardens.